Um, I think it was going to be a game that, um, well, we knew it was going to be a game where probably one goal was going to settle it. Um, whether it was um, a mistake or a little lack of concentration or something. It was always going to be tight on a field like that. Um, and um, to tell the truth, in the second half, I thought there was only going to be one team that was going to win that game. And um, the cruelty of football, isn't it, when you, when you hit the post and then 30 seconds later they score the other end. But I'm um, really proud of the guys. Um, I thought they were, uh, I thought they were brilliant, um, especially at the second half. They drove, they drove on the game. Uh, they, you know, hit, again, they hit the post a couple of times. We, we did everything. It just didn't kind of fall for us, and um, and they just got that one chance. The goal was it a momentary lapse of concentration? It just seemed the back line was suddenly chasing the Raptors. Uh, I, d I haven't really seen it properly through, you know, to, to really give you a proper anal uh, analyse it properly. Um, but, you know, they didn't really have anything, kind of really the whole game, and, and that's what it was going to be, and that's what, how I kind of felt it was going to be, and again, it was a bit of a scrappy goal, and I think whoever won the game was probably going to score a scrappy goal, and um, it happened, and um, unfortunately it was the, uh, for us, that it wasn't us, it, it scored. How close is Bradley to making that game? You said you were going to test him on Saturday morning. Um, no, Michael, Michael couldn't play. Did you know that earlier? Or was it just well, no, we, we gave him every opportunity, but, um, but in the end, he, he wasn't right. So. And is that just a, an injury that will affect this week? Or you no, I hope so. I, I hope he'll be right for next week. But it, if he played, there was a good chance he'd been out for several weeks pushing on months if you had done anything further so not going to risk that Your thoughts on Kyle Becker? Oh I thought he was brilliant today I thought he was absolutely brilliant I thought he was one of our you know one of our standout players um, amongst a lot of the guys who played very well but um, you know, I thought Kyle did, did re really well he bounced off the the attack well most of the position and attack started from him and um, and he did a, did a lot of stuff um on the opposite side of the ball as well, which is um, which is something that he's brought into his game, uh, and, and and it shows a kind of a level of maturity now in Carl, which is um, which we've been hoping to see, and which has been developing through through his hard work, all his all on his own, his hard work he's been putting in. You still have Dwayne out late with that pack of brew, or is it just you and that again? No, he's um, he's done. I think um, he came off with a muscle injury. How serious is it? Ah, uh, no, we're not sure. It's a bit bit early on, but um. But, yeah, we'll see. How, overall, how would you characterize the quality of service to, to the forwards today? Well, well, you know, I think both teams struggled with the quality of service because of the, I suppose, of the playing service that they had to, they had to, you know, perform on. Um, it, it was very hard to, to get going in, in, in patterns of play and quality, and it was always going to be a scrappy goal or a, or a, or a moment of quality, which. Um, which um, of those free kicks I thought Vex had, had produced for us in a couple of millimetres here and there, we would have been, we would, they would have gone in. If you had Morgan on the bench, he'd be, we'd expected him not to play all week. Could he have seen any action? No. Why would you dress him then? Because uh, we couldn't fill out our 18. What did you and a young player, a young player like Ashton, part of the team again, but more experienced. Well, you, look, it affected both teams, but it was just a scrappy game, and um, and um, you know, you know, they had to play on it. We had to play on it. It's um, it's not ideal, obviously, um, but you know, I thought, you know, I don't like they had two shots. And, you know, I thought we, considering obviously the absentees, I thought we um, we played really well, and the guys that were on that field. Were, um, I thought they were really, they were brilliant. They, especially in that second half, they got stronger and stronger and stronger. And, um, and as I said, I thought there's only going to be one team that was going to win it. With all the injuries, is it a blessing at all to see some of these younger players early in the season? You might have learned a little bit about maybe even later in the season. Yeah, definitely. You know, this is, um, look, you, you know, like we're going to get injuries. But I've got you got more. I've got you know faith in these guys to to win football games, and we could have easily won this game. And um, 
and we'd be all we'd be all going, what great depth we've got. So I I think it showed there that you know um, that if if we get in situations like this, we're we're more than capable of um, winning in most games. Kind of an early look at what the what the squad looks like without Michael. When he's probably going to miss four to six games this summer. Is is this team capable of getting results not only here but especially on the road in, in his absence? You're back in the USA. Yeah? Um, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, obviously, Johnson and Zorro out as well. You know, that's two central midfielders there. But yeah, I mean, you, you're getting a glimpse of what we can be. Can we get better? Are we trying to get better? Yep, definitely. Um, but you know, I thought the guys did really well. Brian, what did you make of uh, Gilberto's performance? Is he starting to get into the match shape? I think so. I think you can see he's getting getting better and better. He's, he's making more of an influence in the game, and I think once he gets one, he's gonna the floodgates are gonna are gonna open. But but you can see he's kind of getting sharper and sharper, and and um, you know he's had a lovely chance in that first half. It was um you know, it's probably probably the best chance of the game to the truth. And um, but um I think he's getting stronger and stronger, and a few other guys are getting stronger and stronger. I thought Bradley Orr was really good again, and Stephen really good, and Jackson's just Jackson's been our most consistent performer. He's been he was brilliant. Brilliant as well, so I feel I feel really bad. I'm, I'm I feel really bad for the guys because um, they're really down. They you know they put in a big effort, and I, I think and to tell the truth, they could have thrown out a lot of excuses before the game with with you know what's been going on. But they they wanted to prove to everybody that they're um, that they can be very competitive. And um, again, I thought I'm just gutted for them because I thought there was only one team that was going to win it, but. On what's their plays? On free kicks on corners? Oh, we. Well, you know, players have certain skill sets, and um, Carl's very good at that. Um, but it all depends on how you're confident and you feel. You know, sometimes you step over over a ball and you you feel like this is going to go in, and you could tell Carl through his body language and through his you know just his confidence, you could tell it was going to go there or thereabouts. Does it in training all the time? Um, you know, these guys. You know, it's not just they don't just get up there and kick it. They practice this all the time, and and, um, and even the, even a couple of set plays from the corners that we worked on, we got guys free. But um, you know, it was just one of those games again. It was just I feel bad for them because we we could have snuck something, but it just didn't fall for us. Right. What exactly is Bradley's injury? You you'd mentioned kind of wear and tear. Uh, the game notes had it. I think is a quadriceps. Is, is that what the injury is? Yeah, it's a, um, a slight quad and a slight groin. So um, yeah, but um, you know, as I said, um, we're hoping he'll be ready for next week. But. And you're, you're releasing him for the, the game on Wednesday against Mexico. I know a couple of the Mexican teams held back their players. You know, was it your decision, or is it something that you wanted to do, or not really? Because um, I mean, the MLS once once the US players playing in that game it was a you know, US soccer definitely did financially. Um, it's probably the last time. Um, you know, they they play before they go to the World Cup. Yeah, of course, in hindsight, but but that's you know, right? Have Michael Bradley on my squad, so you know, which he is. So we have to sacrifice. We know he's going to go to the World Cup. We know he's going to have these international games, and and we have to deal with it. How close do you think the boat is? Do you think he's, he's a possibility for next week? Um, hopefully, hopefully. So um, again, again, it's that it's that one where. After Dallas, we've got two weeks. So um, if he's there or thereabouts, then hopefully. But um, I, you know, if it's risky, then for one game, I don't want to see him on that. On, on well, he doesn't want to see himself in the medical room for another six to eight weeks if we if we push him too quickly. Right, at the start of the season, did you see yourself, or did you anticipate having to manage injuries for these designated players, or is this something that's completely unexpected? Well, yeah, you always. Um, you always plan for the worst. You plan for the best and you plan for the worst. Um, did I think it was going to be as bad as this? No, no, definitely not. Um, but that's why you have um, big long squads, and that's why these off guys give an opportunity. So, and, and in all honesty, I'd rather, I kind of rather talk about the guys who played today because, because um, I thought they did really well. You know, I, I think if you take away five very influential players on most teams, it's, um, you know, it's 
pretty difficult, especially um, especially young team like us, like a team that's not kind of you know hardened with year and success. We're, we're trying to get there, um, but this will be these games will be you know great experience for the guys who um, who left everything out there on the field today.